everybody, everybody, I'm back. Everybody, Jeannie Young is back, and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited today because today at the Young's house, Jeannie Young is going to share with you all just how easy it is to make delicious pasta salad. This pasta salad is amazing. It's so easy to make. It doesn't require a lot of ingredients, and you know, making Gina Young style, it's going to be so tasty. Y'all never had my pasta salad before. You better make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients you're going to need. Of course, you will need some nice fresh tomatoes. We have some beautiful fresh tomatoes that I have washed with cold water. And we also have some hard salami. I like to go to my local deli and ask them to slice it just like so. Nice and thick so we can chop it down into cubes. And also you will need some zesty, robust Italian dressing. You're going to need some nice fresh cucumbers. And also you will need ranch powder seasoning. This makes it amazing. And you're gonna need some black olives. I know some of you are not fans of black olives, but if you want it to uh, really pop out in color, put you some black olives in it. It really makes it beautiful. And also you're gonna need some tri-colored rotini noodles. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really quick and simple, yet so tasty recipe. Okay, everyone, so one of the first things that you want to do, let's get started on these beautiful tricolor rotini noodles. So now I have some water here that's boiling. You always want to salt your water. Anytime you're making noodles, you're making rice or potatoes, salt the water so the noodles taste delicious. Okay, so I'm going to open up. I use about a pound and a half. This is a pound box, and then I'll use a little bit of these ones. I love the different colors because it makes for such a beautiful pasta salad. So then, let's put a little bit of these in. I hope you all are having an amazing day today. Have you all had pasta salad before? Have you made it before? If you've never made it or you've never tasted it, you are in for a treat because it's so much fun to make. It's so easy. Like I said earlier, it doesn't require a lot of ingredients and you get to eat it for a couple of days. So I'm stirring my noodles around a little bit. Let's go ahead and start to chop up some of our um, hard salami. Now, you might like pepperoni. If you like pepperoni, absolutely you can put it in your pasta salad. So here's how I like to chop it up. Now, if you put pepperoni in, you know how the pepperoni has sort of like the orangish color to it? Some of that orange color will come off onto your salad. So if you don't want that to happen, then you're going to want to use you know the hard salami and if you want to chop it down a little bit smaller absolutely you can so i'm going to continue to chop up all of this beautiful tasty hard salami and when i come back i'll show you what we'll do next okay everyone so we have all of the um, hard salami nice and chopped up just like so Okay, so we'll set that aside. And now I want to take this time to chop up some tomatoes. Make sure you wash off your tomatoes. You want to wash off those nasty pesticides. And also, you never know who's handled your veggies before you brought them home. So I've washed off all of the veggies. And then I've pat them dry with a paper towel. So now here's how I'm going to slice our tomatoes. I do want to cut the core out. It's pretty simple. Okay, I'm just going to go in and do this to each one. All right. Now, let's talk about cheese in pasta salad because I know when I make pasta salad, you all are going to say, Oh, Gina, you know what really would be good? Some cheese in that pasta salad. Well, not actually. Not for this recipe. And the reason why is because we're going to use... Italian dressing. Italian dressing has the oil and it has the vinegar and the oil and vinegar will break down the cheese and it'll get kind of mushy and no one wants mushy cheese. Now, if you wanted to make a pasta salad that had more of a mayonnaise base, then you could throw in loads of cheese, but it's really not for this recipe. Okay, especially if you're not a person that would prefer mushy cheese. All right, so now that we have the core out, 
let's go ahead, chop up these beautiful tomatoes. Tomatoes, tomatoes, just make sure they're nice and fresh. All right, so I'm gonna cut mine this way. Okay, and then when I do the veggies for the pasta salad, I like for my veggies to be kind of big. The reason why is because also, with that acid from the vinegar, it's gonna cause for your veggies to kind of shrink up a little bit, if that makes any sense. So if you chop your small, they're gonna get even smaller. So this is the dice that I like to do right here around about this size. You wanna make them all somewhat the same size if you can, okay? Just like that. And I like a lot of tomatoes in my pasta salad because I love the flavor of the Italian dressing up against that. Once that Italian dressing gets inside of the tomato and inside of the cucumber, delicious. So our noodles are cooking. They're only going to cook for 11 minutes. When I come back, I'll show you what we'll do next. Okay, everyone. So now let's get started. Here's what our tomatoes look like. I have a lot of them. And over here we have our beautifully chopped, uh, what is it called guys? <laughs> I'm lagging today. What is it called? Hard salami. The hard salami is chopped. And now we need to address the cucumbers. So here's how we're gonna do it. Anytime I have cucumbers, I do like to chop off some of the skin because I feel like some of the skin is a little bit too bitter for me. So, and, and, and what I like to do when I do it this way, it makes it nice and beautiful, okay? So we have a little bit of the skin on, most of the skin off, and you still have that little bit of green going through your chop. Okay, so I'm gonna go one more time, cut a little bit more skin off, just like so. All right, so that's what it'll look like. And then, now it's time to have some fun. We're going to get over there for a second. You can chop the ends off just like so. Our noodles are almost done. Our noodles are only gonna cook for 11 minutes. That's gonna give you that perfect, nice and al dente noodle that's chewy to the tooth and never mushy okay so you see how we have you know the four pieces and then we can go about chopping it just like so keep in mind like i said same with the uh, tomatoes you don't want to chop it too small because they will shrink let's see i feel like this one is a little bit too big now we can chop it up. Now, I do have a question for you all, and you all can have fun in the comment section and let me know. So, what are you all going to do for your kids for school this year? Are some of you doing school? Or are you going to do the homeschooling? Because as far as here at the Young's house with Dakota, he's going to do the virtual homeschooling. And... He's gonna be using our office. He has his computer and all of his school supplies and everything set up and he's really excited. Okay, so we're working on our second cucumber. But Dakota School, they had told me to be looking out for an email to come out this Monday that's gonna give me information on who his teacher is gonna be and how we're gonna do things this year. But what we're really excited about is the simple fact that last year, Dakota got a lot of experience on how the online schooling will go. So he has an idea and he did really, really well with that. So I know that he's gonna achieve very well this this year as well so let's see one more time i'm going to show you if you missed it the first time this is how we're going to do the cucumber just like so if you get a piece that's a little too big just this way and then we'll go in chop them bad boys up just like so and when i come back i'll show you what we'll do next Okay, everyone, you can see that we're here at the sink and I have some cold water running because I wanna rinse the noodles. We're gonna drain them first and then we wanna take the time to rinse them in cold water to cool them down and stop the cooking process. Once we get our noodles nice and cold, I'll show you what we'll do next. 
Okay, everyone, so our noodles are nice and cold. Make sure your noodles are cold before you go any further. They're cold and they've been drained. I put them back into the wok and the wok has been washed and it's nice and cold as well. So now let's get started mixing everything in and from here, everything happens really quickly. All right, so I'm going in with loads of veggies. Like I said, when I make mine, hey, I like a lot of tomatoes. I like a lot of cucumbers, definitely. That's why I'm using the wok to stir everything in because I feel like the bowl that I have, it's not big enough. <laughs> so once I get everything mixed up, I'm literally gonna have to use two bowls to store this in. Okay, so now that we have our beautiful tomatoes and cucumbers, be very gentle. You don't wanna break up the tomatoes. You don't wanna mash up your noodles and break them up. Okay, just kind of fold them in just like so and look at that that's how I like my pasta salad loaded with the veggies and once again there's a lot of people that are not fans of um, olives if you're not then you don't have to use them okay will it be as beautiful no but it'll still be tasty <laughs> it's true okay so I'm gonna go in with one and see how much color I have if I feel like I need a little bit more color then I'm gonna put the other can and maybe not the full can. I know my husband, he usually picks out the black olives. <laughs> He'll eat a few, but most of them he picks it out. I'm gonna throw them in. No one will know. <laughs> All right, so there we go and we have that beautiful color. Now what I like about this salad is we sneak in the ranch powder. Now listen here, there is an Italian powder as well. You can use that, it gives a robust flavor, just like this one. Sometimes I switch between the two. Sometimes you'll see me use the Italian powder. Let's go ahead with this ranch powder and we want to really, really, really mix this in. Get it nice and incorporated. So I'm gonna put a little bit in, just like so, and you'll feel like your noodles are getting kind of dry because of this powder going in. But don't worry about that, not for one second. The reason why is because um, we're going to soften that up with the Italian dressing. So I'm going in with the rest of the packet, just like so. Get all that goodness in there. Don't leave any in the packet. It's delicious. We're going to mix that in. All right. And then we pour in the robust. Make sure when you get your Italian dressing, you get the zesty robust. That's the one that's going to give you the most flavor. This recipe is unforgettable. It's so tasty. Everyone I feed it to, they go nuts over it. Okay, so once I get this open, we're gonna pour in the whole bottle. Yes, we are. You wanna shake it up just like I did and pour in the whole bottle. Now, what I always like to do, I always like to do, I buy two bottles because sometimes, all depending on how our noodles soak up, this Italian dressing is going to depend on how much Italian dressing we're gonna use. So when I come back, I'll have everything mixed in with this one bottle. We'll see how moist it is. If it's not moist enough, we're gonna put some more in. But I can't forget one of our main stars, that hard salami, get it in there. It really takes this pasta salad to another level, Gina Young style. Gonna mix this up and we'll see how moist it is. Be back. Okay, everyone, so let's talk about it. What I did is I used the other bottle, but I only used a half of it, okay? Now we wanna finish it off with some black pepper. This is a must. I left that out of the ingredients, but don't forget yours, okay? So just fold in that black pepper just like so. When I come back, I'm gonna say an amazing prayer and you all are gonna get that first bite. Look here, everybody. Pasta salad, Gina Young style. Make you some. Listen here, everybody. If you all enjoy this here video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time Gina Young uploads one of these awesome recipes. Tell your family and friends and everybody you know, tell the whole world about Gina Young and what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Let's go ahead and say a really quick prayer and then we're gonna take a bite. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we wanna thank you for your love time, 
your mercy and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Savior. Send your angels down to surround us day and night. Your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace over our mind in the name of Jesus. We pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper in Jesus' name. And we bind the devil away from us in the name of Jesus. Devil, you have no authority over this here household in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the roof over our head. The food, the love, the peace, and the joy that you bring us every day. We thank you. Amen. Amen once again to my beautiful prayer. Don't forget to let me know what you all are going to do for this school year. I think it'll be a fun conversation for us all to chime in on in the comment section below of this video. Let's taste this. I'm going in. I am going in. And nobody can stop me. Oh, look at this. Come on. Can you get, 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 just get on there. All right, come on. Take a bite. Mm. <laughs> mm. Ooh. Mm. See, this here is my favorite. You hear me? Mm. This is the perfect recipe when it's hot outside. This is the perfect recipe for any day. Mm. 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 Make you some Gina Young style. You're going to be happy. Mm. 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 And as always, God bless you all. Thank you all for watching. Good night.